Hi everyone, and we start with the Western Hockey League. The Lethbridge Hurricanes have been officially eliminated from playoff contention this season, but they vow to finish strong in the Royal of Spoiler. Next up for the club is a date in Prince Albert tomorrow night against the Raiders. Now the Raiders are also not playoff bound. Today, Kayla Carr caught up with assistant captain Graham Hood in this week's Hurricane Watch. Right now to get to know Graham a little bit better with our Hurricane Watch rapid fire. Okay, here we go. First question, what time did you get up this morning? 11.30. Nice. That's kind of in the afternoon almost. Uh, last movie you saw at the theater? Um, uh, <laughs> the Vow. Vow, really? <laughs> That's a romantic chick flick, but I like it. Uh, your favorite CD right now? Um, I don't really listen to CDs. Yeah. What kind of car do you drive? Cobalt. <laughs> Any pet peeves? Um, TV reporters. <laughs> nice. Uh, if you could go anywhere in the world on vacation, where would you go? Um, Australia. Do you have any pets? Uh, no. Uh, what did you want to be when you were little? Firefighter. What was your favorite toy as a child? My fire truck. <laughs> what are you afraid of? The dark. A gadget you can't live without? My phone. Must do on game day. Um, be the first one to the rink. Nice. And last but not least, uh, best part about playing for the Lethbridge Hurricanes? I get to be around you guys all the time. Aww, he redeemed himself at the end. <laughs> Thanks very much to Graham. Getting to know him a little bit better. Next week, we will have a very special edition of Hurricane Watch. With this week's Hurricane Watch, I'm Kayla Carr, CTV Sports, Lethbridge. Hurricane Watch, sponsored by Cummins Western Canada. Dependable parts and service every time. And looking very much forward to next week. Now, the Canes return home on Monday, March 2nd for a date with the Kootenai Ice. And tonight, by the way, the Medicine Hat Tigers are up in Prince George to face the Cougars. Now, the Calgary Flames have honored their top-scoring defenseman of all time, even though he finished his career somewhere else. Hockey Hall of Famer Al McGinnis, with his family by his side, was inducted into the Forever a Flame program last night, which will allow future Flames players to don his number two, if they so choose, and which hasn't been worn, by the way, in Calgary since 94 when McInnes was traded to St. Louis. His number two was retired a few years ago by the Blues, and McInnes still works for them in the front office. Last night, the Blues were the visitors at the Settled Dome, and they beat the Flames 3-1. to one. Calgary has dropped four in a row. In Major League Baseball, the majority of clubs use a data-driven software system called BATS, which gives them every statistical detail they could ever hope for. Video analysis in pro sports has come a long way from looking at tape in a VHS machine, and now the makers of BATS have turned their attention to hockey. Coming up tonight on the CTV Calgary News at 6, we'll take a closer look at the pucks system. The Flames are one of 15 NHL teams that are using this software and they even have one person in charge of overseeing how the content is applied to their planning and scouting strategies. This man's name is Chris Snow and we'll show you how pucks is gaining popularity in this information age. Montreal Canadiens legend Jean Beliveau is in hospital. The Hall of Famer has suffered a stroke. He was admitted to hospital last evening. The Canadiens say the 80-year-old Beliveau is undergoing active investigation and treatments. Beliveau won an amazing 10 Stanley Cups with the Habs back in the 50s and 60s. Well, a somewhat frightening and exciting scene at the Daytona 500 last night. Driver Juan Pablo Montoya went spinning off the track and into a safety truck which had jet fuel attached to it and 700 liters of high octane caught on fire. The race was halted for two hours. Imagine that a red flag for two hours as crews put out the flames using laundry detergent to clean up the oil. And I guess they use Tide if you're interested in that sort of thing. No one was seriously hurt. The race originally set for Sunday was rescheduled for Monday morning and then Monday evening because of rain as well and concluded early Tuesday morning. Matt Kenseth eventually took the checkered flag in what has to be considered the strangest Daytona 500 ever.